This is the City of Tears. It's three miles north of Hopeless and six inches shy of drowning. In a word, sturdy. It's been in my family for as long as I can remember, and yet every single inhabitant is a zombie. The biggest upsides, though, are the friends. Some people prefer the Nailsmith or Lem, but I like... Quirrell. Hey, man. Hi. The capital lies before us, my friend. What a somber place it seems, and one that holds the answers to many a mystery. I, too, have felt the pull of this place, but now I sit before it, I find myself hesitant to descend. Is it fear, I wonder, or something else that holds me back? Before we continue with his dialogue, well, greetings, guys, gals, and godmaster gamers alike. I'm a Granny Gamer. I am Apkins. Ye, yeah. and we are back for our fourth episode of Hollow Knight. 112 plus percent playthrough, which I realized re-watching these episodes, because we're starting a new recording session today. Yeah. Um, that Yee. I never <laughs> I never fully explained what I'm doing. So the plan is to collect every collectible, and that includes finding all geocaches, reveal any secrets that are hidden throughout the game's world, and just basically show you everything there is to see. And um, due to the extreme length of previous episodes, we decided to cut it down a bit. Probably going to be half-hour episodes, at least that's what we'll aim for from now on. Just to keep it a little bit easier to digest, and in doing so, hopefully we'll be able to uh, release episodes more frequently. So, yeah. Also, uh, just created a Discord, actually, last night, as of the 11th. It's actually my brother's birthday today. Happy birthday, bro. Um, so, yeah, we're recording this on the 11th probably gonna put out one Tuesday because like we've been I've been putting them out Tuesdays and Fridays but now that they're shorter I have more material to work with which means I can release them more frequently so it might end up being like I don't know Tuesday Thursday Saturday possibly I don't know that's a tentative schedule just yeah all right back to Coral the city looks to be built into an enormous cavern and the rain pours down from the cracks in the stone above must be a lot of water up there somewhere. I suppose if the cave roof stayed long, uh, stayed strong this long, it should hold for us. Before I leave this kingdom, I'd like to see where all that water comes from. What a sight it must be. If you look down from here, through the rain, you can just make out those twisted sentries. The husks still stuck in endless patrol. I'd be cautious... Cautious? Ca cautious around them, my short friend. Their training will not have been forgotten. This city presents some formidable foes. Hmm, isn't this a wonderful spot for a rest? I do so love the rain upon glass. Sound of the rain upon glass, yes. And then, shwing! Colorless heart, magnificent, even in mourning. Talk about an absolute joy of a bench here. You get to the city, and it's just now you're starting to realize the scale this game is going for. Like, up to this point, it's just been wastelands and old pathways and stuff, but now you get to a proper city with towers and windows and the rain adding the extra somberness to it. And the further you get away from the windows, the quieter the rain gets. It's such an amazing detail. This is my probably my favorite bench in the game. I also love the way he looks at you. Just... <laughs> just... Hey man, what's up? Hey, you're, you're sitting on my leg. <laughs> you're sitting on my leg. <laughs> Please get off. <laughs> I can't move my nail. It's the hilt is starting to dig into my spine. <laughs> Please get off. Okay, whatever. I don't wish you harm. Also, shoot, what charms? Okay, those are the charms I got. I'd also like to point out that Grin finally bought a pro controller to yeah. play this with. Yeah. So if I if I fail now, I can't blame the controller. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's without fail, no without. matter what happens. As soon as you point something out, it's like, example. <laughs> Very much example. Oh, this is awesome. So up to this point, we've just been hearing the gentle strings of the chorus of the city's soundtrack, which unfortunately we can't hear because we have the TV muted so it doesn't come through in the mic because the game audio... 
is just, it's like, there's just enough of an offset between the different recordings and audio that we wouldn't want to make a weird loop. But anyway, you coming down the tower, it's just been the strings and the piano, and then you drop down to the city proper, you're given the title of the area, and the choir joins in. It's just, ugh. It gives such a sense of grandeur and mourning, it's just... I love this game so much! Let's hope we don't do something stupid again. I don't know. That might happen. Yee! Okay. So, we're gonna come over here, get the uh, cutscene with the uh, Hornet. Spoilers! <laughs> uh, like we said at the beginning of the playthrough, <laughs> if you're watching this, you should have at least played the game yourself, if not seen another playthrough. <laughs> yeah, you totally should have done that. Oh yeah, this is like the first step- ooh, random essence. This is like the first episode where we're actually in territory that uh, we're probably going to be in territory that uh, Apkins hasn't seen before. Because I haven't played this game very much. Yeah. I was just invited out to be second commentary. Yeah, because I admittedly would be kind of bland by myself. And it's nice having someone else to bounce off of. Plus, yeah, he, he's got plenty of streaming knowledge, and I could use that, being very new to this sort of stuff myself. I'm the guy that just sets up everything for him, and he just makes the content. Oh yeah, we just we had like a big blooper reel we just made. <laughs> it wasn't like a true blooper reel, we are just testing out audio settings and stuff by playing Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you, Grin is not very good at playing Mario Kart. <laughs> like... It's not so much my skill is bad, I have horrendous luck. I was dying inside of how bad it was. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure part of my soul is just gone because I had to watch that happen. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Enough, enough uh, roasting grin. Um, yeah. Continue on what you were doing. Okay, so we're going to just go dead quiet because I love this cutscene so much. I love it so much. Alright, so due to the um, horrendous voice acting of the previous attempt with Hornet, I, did, I don't know what we're going to do for this one. Because this time I can't even like actually call my sister in here like, hey, could you record? No, she's, um, she's on her way to Colorado. <laughs> Weird. So we're just here by ourselves in a big old house. Actually, it's not very big, it's average. But an empty house, it's just us in this little room trying to record and neither one of us is a chick so I'm gonna have to pick up the slack and try oh, this. Oh yeah, make it all anew. We can make it sound like Kermit if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Um, I mean you could go for it if you want. <laughs> I could actually try doing a voice. Okay. Again, we meet little ghost. I normally quite perspe- I can't say that. Perceptive. Perspe- jeez. Perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> you, I underestimated. Though, I've since guessed the truth. You've soon beyond this kingdom's bound. Oh, you've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is resilienced. Resilience. I can't say words today. <laughs> Man, I can't. You sound read. like me. I can't read. You get words. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't read. Like English was never my best subject in <laughs> high school and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah. Yours is resilience, born of two voids. I'm sorry. Wait, we're just moving on. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's no surprise. Then you've managed to reach the heart of this world. Hakana Sagamo. Oh. Why was that? I'm sorry, I skipped. <laughs> In doing so, you shall know the something that keeps it standing. The sacrifice that keeps it standing. There we go. This is supposed to be some like really heartfelt cutscene dialogue, <laughs> and you're skipping through it while I'm trying to read it. You reached the end of a sentence, and my thumb just reflexively <laughs> hit the A. <laughs> if knowing that truth, you'd still attempt the role of hollow nest per jeez perpetuation. I, first of all, I, I can't even read that. So <laughs> yeah, a low def TV, and then you've got a words with old English stuff. I'm, not, I'm just gonna let you do the talking for all this <laughs> right I'll, now. I'll, I'll try. Seek the grave in ash, and the mark it would grant to gee, the mark it would grant to one like you. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was great. All right. Yeet. Bye. <laughs> Bye, sis. And yeet. Yeah. Never again am I doing that. <laughs> <laughs> It was oh great. yeah, here's the memorial to the Hollow Knight. <laughs> memorial. <laughs> memorial. To the Hollow Knight. In the Black Walt. In the Black Walt. Walt Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we both having a tough time doing this, aren't we? I can't words to save my life. In the Black Vault, far above, through its secretary. Nice. I give up. <laughs> I give up. Just douse me in lighter fluid and set a match. Honestly. Through its sacrifice, hell and us last eternal. Oh, okay, so, in case you're completely inept when you play through this game, this is a memorial to the Hollow Knight. Roll credits. That is the Hollow Knight. Me is not the Hollow Knight. That is the Hollow Knight. That. And I know it looks like a Mantis Lord, but it's not. That is the Hollow Knight. I feel like I keep repeating it, but it's... We're they give to... you a gigantic sign. We're trying to beat it into your head that you are not the home. <laughs> I forgot I haven't opened the door yet. I'm gonna open the door first. I'm gonna open the door first, and then I'm gonna go get the nail upgrade because there's actually some unique dialogue Lem gives you if you haven't gotten a nail upgrade before coming to see it. Oh yeah, and then I've, I've killed all the guards right here. I wanted to knock one into the water. I just tried to double jump, but I don't have that yet. <laughs> Hey, Rava. It's probably like one of the worst things for playing this game. It's yeah. Like, you know, you have all the and you don't. And then you don't, so you just look really stupid. <laughs> oh, floor hacks. Eh. What? Wow. Eh. Yeah, there we go. Grunt and Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure we made that one. Yeah, we did. You heard it here first. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. We but now I don't get any money. Darn it. But, oh. It's not like you really need money to begin with. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of stuff I could buy, but we're about to get absolutely loaded from the- ah! <laughs> Okay. Can't platform, can you? No! Even on a pro controller! Okay, I'm gonna kill this person if possible. Hi. 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 Ah! Hi. Hi. Alright. Hi. <laughs> it's just, everything is high. Hollowness. Wait. <laughs> okay, where's this guy? Yeah, Woo! Dude, found him. Ah! Dang it, the soft lock, or the, 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 like, the stun lock when you fall. Yeah. Ah! No! Why'd you do that? I just panicked. I don't know why I panicked. I just dashed into nothingness. I am sorry that this is 100% Oh, I forgot. I knocked you in here. Thank you. Wait, are you saying he didn't die? No. <laughs> there's no fall damage for enemies, <laughs> unfortunately. There's no fall damage in... No one has knees. No one has knees. Confirmed. <laughs> Tune into episode one to get that job. Basically, just turn into the entire series. Yeah, to get if, if you're done. watching episode three of or episode four of anybody's let's play before any of the others, why? To be fair, the other three episodes are one hour. It's true. So that's three hours they have to watch to get it. It's true. Ah! I can't. <laughs> I you are just doing so much worse now. It's because I warmed up with Mario Kart. <laughs> So it's completely <laughs> different. Ooh, John Cena. I love this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. The John Cena bug. Come here. I say you Come pointed here. this out to Rust. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah. Well, he knew about the trick, just he didn't know about the. Okay. Once this guy jumps in. <laughs> Come on, jump. Work with me, buddy. No, don't jump. What is? <laughs> okay, now jump. But. <laughs> What is now he's on? just standing there. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. Okay. John Cena. Okay, now if you listen, you can hear him. He just takes up marching again. Yeah. <laughs> through the screen transitions, great. He's in the void. And yet, because of that, it's a screen transition, so he's not here. <gasps> Noni. Then you climb back up, and because he didn't technically die, this is like the only place where. Ah! There he is. He's back. Ah! If we didn't have to sit at a bench. To get him to come back. Yeah. yeah. Velmi Artrid. Alright, before we talk to you for relic Kachale, purposes. Aye, aye, come searching for rare items, have you? Well, hands off. This collection's mine. And I won't be selling to grubby little wanderers. Still, I imagine you come across many interesting items in your travels. 
Maybe you got a pot with some? <laughs> what is this voice? <laughs> I love a fair trade for each. Uh, it just turns into... A, eventually, it's just gonna become Watto from Phantom Menace. Yeah. More of a son? Then now yeah. you will. Your bear looks mighty blunt. Uh, the cracks all through it. It's as much a relic as the objects in my shop, only money. <laughs> <laughs> I have little interest in weapons myself, uh, but it might be a good night. I didn't even. <laughs> but it may be an idea to hunt down that old nailsmith. His hut's on the outskirts of the city, not far from here. He might be able to sting your weapon, providing he's feeling generous. Uh. I'm not gonna do that voice for everything because he has so much to say. So he's just gonna become another spam person. Like, just like the seer, he has a ton of dialogue, so I'm just gonna rapid fire through it with a close approximation to his voice. Gachail, Leos. No touching the antiques, my stock's not for sale. Still, if you manage to come across any interesting trinkets during your travels, I might be able to, I may be willing to trade some over the counter there and we'll see what you got. More <laughs> just the <a> voice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a forgotten history hidden in the Kingdom's antiques, though few seem willing to look. Others come just to claw away the cracks and ruins. Plus, scavengers and thieves, it's contemptible. We've talked enough, I think. Relics and cleanings, text needs deciphering. Out with you. This isn't a museum. Helma <laughs> Delka. <laughs> That's all he's okay. Alright. So, yeah, he's got a ridiculous amount of dialogue considering the amount of relics you can sell this guy. So, here goes nothing. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Gachail. A wanderer's journal, eh? Though they're common finds throughout the kingdom, I much enjoy the deciphering of their text. Read together this point and painted morbid tales. Seems fate was unkind to the most who traveled through Helena's ruin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gachail, and in the yourself. Wanderer's Journal, I might be and might not be able to offer a lot for each, but they're plentiful about the caverns, and I doubt you'll find another willing to make trade for Geo. Velmi Archer. I just like to imagine that this is his actual voice. Like. Gachail, <laughs> Leo. Helena Sile, I'm very interesting. This. Do you know of the Kingdom's five great knights? No. Enlighten me, dear sir. The revered figures of Helena are often mentioned in the annals of the king. Annals of the kingdom, but often <laughs> only as a group. <laughs> I'm so juvenile. Both their names and appearance seem to have been expunged from history. Expunged. So long has passed since their time, it'd be a grand achievement to discover their identity. Bell me, Arthur. <laughs> Mamma mia. I got my pizza in the oven over there. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you could probably hear it, smell it smoking if you had a nose. It's actually burning down my shop right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why everything looks like it's charred black. Please get out. <laughs> <laughs> I need to attend to this fire. Let me get to my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Sets his beard on fire. <laughs> I needed a trim anyway. <laughs> Another Helena seal. Pass it over. Ah. Uh. <laughs> 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 I can... <laughs> I enjoy collecting their like, but there's little information to be gleaned of each. Mind you, they do keep a nice shine about them, and there's nothing wrong with appreciating something purely on aesthetic merits. <sighs> I ran out of breath. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I got already. Oh, Paul. Helena, CLA, give it here. Do you know? Do you have anything else for me? If not, get your damp little stuff out of my home. Language. Oh, he said damp. Okay. me <laughs> You literally read it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Bellamy Archer. Another Helena seal? Others have told me there's a statue under the city's entrance depicting a large knightly figure. Could be one of the kingdom's great five. Indeed it is. I'd have looked over it myself, but the gate's long been shut tight and it's too much of a hassle taking the long way around with all those blessed husks about. It's not like right out his window. No, it's, it's a decent ways out okay. there. He's talking about like the entrance with the statue where we put the socket to get in the main okay, gate. Okay, gotcha. And yeah, he's talking about the way the gate shuts when you enter, leading to the suspicion, as he suggests, that there's only, there's no way to get out that way. Which actually you can, but you need an ability. But I don't want to get that ability immediately because something's going to change about a previous NPC that I want to talk to in Dream Nail before we do that thing. So. Velmi Arthur. Foreshadowing. It happens. Spoilers. <laughs> Wolver's son? Yep, yeah. that's another Helena seal, alright? <laughs> I love this line of dialogue. It's just, yep, you got another one. <laughs> the, sh the shell will be overflowing with these things soon. God. I'd never have guessed there'd be so many still lying about. But they're as common as you make them seem, even offering too much for them. 
Helmet Delta. Hmm. Looks like you don't have any more relics. If you manage to find any other in good condition, bring them to me and I'll offer a fair trade if you offer them. <laughs> I wanted to nail you. Short one's good enough. Why does everyone keep saying I'm short? Because you are. So? <laughs> the short one's got a lot of look about it. Mm. The vaguely familiar? Are you the pizza delivery boy? <laughs> <laughs> pizza time. Finally, I can oh. inspect my pizza. Spikes in the elevator. It's like in the background, you see like a combustion of forms up in the background. <laughs> it's Combustion Man! Whee! <laughs> Sparky Sparky Boom Man! <laughs> oh, wait, did you did you finish Avatar? Yeah. Yee. What'd you think? It was pretty, it was pretty good. Yee. I will say, um, the final Agni Kai is just so awesome. Final episode, well, like, technically it's such a support part. Yeah. But on Netflix, they literally just jump it into, like, what, it's like an hour and a half movie or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so if you haven't seen the ending, yeah, skip, spoilers like, for Avatar The Last Airbender. Skip to like 20 seconds ahead from now. When yeah, I, but approximately. First of all, 100% Lion Turtle Ex Machina. Oh yeah, that's like, like the one thing people have bad to say about the show. It's like, Lion Turtle Ex Machina, he doesn't want to kill him, and then he's like, Hey, here's a solution on a silver platter. I have a platter. solution not to kill people, just take away their bending. Just touch them with green magic, which turns... Touch them with both your thumbs out their chest and their forehead. And which... He gets used later for something else in a different series that people, yeah, for I, shit. I still Spoilers. have to watch that series. Yeah. I heard it's not that. It's not nearly as good as the original. I in heard my it's opinion. still alright though. The fight scenes are pretty great, because I mean, for as many uh, action set pieces as there are in Avatar, and all of them are great. Um, Korra has several more fight scenes. That's pretty good. Oh, man, that's really good. I'm drinking a mangomatic rain here. Hashtag not sponsored. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, not sponsored by anything. <laughs> <laughs> True. If I remember correctly, I give this guy a Scottish accent. Hmm. Fantastic. Have you brought me another nail to be owned? Leave it on the ground and return later if you are still breathing. Ah, uh, Ronjo Stenja. Oh, I thought you were someone else. After a nail, Smith, are you? Well, you found me. I'm not much for talk, but if it's a nail that needs repair. Then you've come to the right bog. Your own nail's in quite a sorry state. It's obviously not one of mine. Still, anything can be refined with enough effort and skill. Even that broken blade. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. Um, for the moment, I'm gonna say no, just go because of the mm, <laughs> words. I wanted to show what it looks like before. You're not interested? Then suit yourself. So yeah, let's take a look at the inventory, which I haven't really done. Like, I've looked at the charm menu, obviously, and the map for, like, one frame in the There's previous episode. There's an inventory in this game? <clears throat> you just... Shocking news. Okay, yeah. so here's the old nail. Traditional weapon of Hellenist, the blade is blunt from age and wear. Yeah. We're basically swinging, swinging around an antique, like Lem said, which, that line of dialogue from Lem, alluding to where the nailsmith can be found, only triggers if you haven't found him yet. Which, nice touch. <laughs> Geo, currency of Hellenist, made from sh fossilized shells and can be traded for goods and used for toll machines. Yeah. Focus, we get, I mean, we have this from the beginning of the game, but there's that lore tablet in the King's Pass that teaches you how to use it. I realized I said Forgotten Crossroads when I was referring to the King's Pass and we were talking about doing that blind run later, like possibly going through the King's Pass by sound. <laughs> Wow! He just I just belched burned. a storm. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm sorry if that came through on the mic. <laughs> I'd be surprised if it didn't. Vengeful Spirit, yeah, that's our fireball. Hadouken! Yeah. We got the Dream Nail with 139 Essence. Yee. So yeah, for Shinging, and also their um, Open Gateways. That I believe that was added to the description after the Hidden Dreams update because of... Actually, says hidden dreams in the description. <laughs> um, I believe that was added to the hidden dreams update. Uh, update with I am an auctioneer. If you couldn't have told or told, jeez, if you can't tell by now, none of us can. If you speak. can't tell by now, we're having kind of a rough time with this episode because we both just can't talk. This is just gonna be the episode of babbling incoherently. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, with the hidden dreams update, uh, added the dream gate ability for nine hundred essence. 
Yeah, Mothwing Cloak, that's our dash. Ye Rancid eggs, not considered edible. And yet somebody will. Uh, Mantis Claw. Yeah, that's our wall climb. Lumafly Lantern. Crystal Lantern containing a Lumafly. We have a Firefly in a jar. <laughs> we know how that ends for the poor guy. All right, we got the map. <laughs> And I like that. It adds in the description, if you just have the map, without a quill, it cannot be updated. Implying that you need the quill if you want to update it. I mean, I'm not super needing the maps and quill, but even so, I will be buying everything eventually. Just for people who play the game, it's like, why won't the, like, the map does, I'm off the map. Why is this the then? Get the freaking quill. And then when you get the, the quill, like, it becomes a single item, map and quill. And then the description says, without si well, like, when you sit on a bench, it updates. Giving you the description, hey. If you're wondering why you can't see where you are, it's because you're in a new area. It'll update once you sit at another bench. Hence why bench pins are very important for, like, new newcomers to the game. Also, I just Dash Master. Apparently I didn't look at that before, which isn't super necessary, but here we go. Mm, fantasy. <clears throat> You're still here. Is there something else you want? I, I just completely dumped the accent because I went back to Lem. <clears throat> Lem? What's he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> You're still here? Is there something else you want? If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. Yes, please. Ya yeet. Junja. Junja. As you wish. I'll get to work then. Short little cutscenes like this scatter throughout the game, usually when you get an upgrade of some kind, and it's so small, but it gives so much more depth Garadella, to it. I love those. Kari. There we go. The forging is complete. I've honed your nail's edge. You'll find it much stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its strength against your foes. Hmm. Then mm. You're still that. here? Is there something else you want? If you bring me a piece of pale ore, I can forge it into your nail and make it stronger still. I will be sure to do that. Oh, wait. I wanted to read your thoughts. <laughs> sounds kind of weird. That sounds very, like... Invasive. A little, like, disturbing. <laughs> to forge the perfect nail. Yep. Foreshadowing. It happens. Quite a lot in this game. It... If I jump up there, I'm going to get headbutted by this fella. Whoop. Unless I just jump off the edge. Or, you know... Pogo! Yep! You don't now I can one-shot that fella, and two-shot that fella, and the moment I get more notches, I'm going to equip... Oh! <sighs> Skirt! Ah! <laughs> the minute I got... Helena slap slash. I'm just going to keep saying it because it keeps happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna go up above Lem, get up to the thingamajigamagur, and... The thingamajigamagur. <laughs> yeah. So you've gotten to this point, correct? Like, now we're jumping into uncharted territory for you. I think so, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. I got panicked because I didn't want the guy to swipe at me, but then... Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can... <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, using Pogo. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. It's just wow. <laughs> Morbid. I feel like we turned into like a psychopath. <laughs> we Whoa. turned into. I just pogoed off his nail swipe. That was cool. That was interesting. All right, up we go. And since like, I don't really plan to come back down this elevator, just because falling is a lot faster. Whoop! I'm gonna take these two little side rooms. <laughs> oh! You just blew up. <laughs> Bell flies, I hate you. Alright, so just because I'm collecting everything, there's the rancid egg. I'm not ever gonna use it. At least I don't plan to. I might do it once just to show how the mechanic works. But yeah, I don't need it. Eh. Wait a second. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. It's the elevator. Okay. Let's see if it stops. Nope, it went all the way down. Darn it. Whoop! Okay. Hello. Hi. Do you do you not want to jump down the jump down the elevator shaft? <laughs> Come on. Hello. Does he normally do it? I mean, he this is the one that falls on the screen transition. Why isn't this guy? You know what? Okay. Jump. Jump across. <laughs> oh. You fart knocker. All right. Well, that works. 
Okay. I hate the back steps. The back steps are so terrible. All right. I'm going to floor hack you, just because I don't feel like coming up there yet. And now I'm at full. Good. Oh, yeah. We got our first Lance Rava. I, I keep... Rava is what they say when they're like, they're docile and then they notice your presence. Oh, gotcha. That voice crack is amazing. All right. So <laughs> I love this detail. I... I, I broke a light earlier when I was pointing out like the Silk Song thing that people were like, Oh my god, that's a Silk Song! But um, breaking lights in this game, because there's the Lumaflies providing the light, there's actually Lumaflies that fly out when you break them. That would, that would make sense. Such a yeah. cool detail. I love that. I like how they just use... They, they hold, use real world logic. They hold people captive <laughs> to shine light. Like. Yeah. Well, I think, like, there is a difference between, like, the sentient beings and the... <laughs> the senti oh, also, this bellfly tends to get a lot of people, because, um, arriving at the city, we're introduced to the bellfly enemy, unless you, like, go a different roundabout way and get to bell... whatever. Anyway, city is the City of Tears is, like, most people's first introduction to bellflies, and when they squeak from a distance... Some people, like, mistake them for grubs the first time they hear them, even though they sound very different. And, um, because of that, lots of people walk into that room and, like, where's the grub? And then, boom, get blown up. That, whatever enemy that was, just cornered himself. Into that yeah. That was kind and of then I killed him and hit the elevator, or the, the door lever in the same blow. Wow. Also, efficiency. Yeah, efficiency is key. Yes. I missed time to slash. There you are. <laughs> Almost headbutted that fella. All right. Death. All right. So. <laughs> death. <laughs> Just death for you. Death wow. for you. Ah! Okay. Saved it. All right. So now we're going to hop up here. And after I save this Grubbles, which actually... I don't know why I did that. Alright, so I'm gonna kill this fella, grab the grubbles. Oh, also, now that we have the dream nail, I can show this off. So when you dream nail a grub that's real... Oh, notice I said real. There are mimics in this game. Yeah, that makes it even better. Yeah, I have to explain all these beginners things now because Apkins hasn't gotten there yet. Sorry. Spoilers. Also, the reason I took it this way is because... Oh, yeah! <laughs> what, was, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh... That was our first... Oh, wait, I don't need heal. I just wasted soul. Good job. Wait, I only... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, with only, um... One nail upgrade, it's just one nail hit and eventual spirit. That's nice. I didn't realize that before. So, yeah, at this point, like, the organ comes in for the sub-area, and then... You go over here and it cuts out again because I came this way to get this little shortcut. Get the shortcut here. Cornifer! Isn't this a change from those twisting natural caverns? The rain does cast something of a sadness upon it all, but the architecture is simply splendid. Charting such a different space is quite the challenge, though what I've eagerly undertaken. Perhaps you'd care to purchase a copy of my achievements so far? I would happily do that, good sir. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, see you tears. We've both come far to reach this grand place. While I'm about these buildings, I must remember to collect a trinket or two for a Zelda. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice of you. And now we can dream nail you! To chart the world. What joy! If only a Zelda could share the thrill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. machine was a symbol of a bench. I like the joke people keep making that, oh, this toll machine bench. Oh, oh I love this animation. Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that animation. Like, when people complain, you have to pay for benches in the city. It's so capitalist. There are only three pay benches in the game. One is here. One is in the ancient basin, like way down there. So it's like, I guess technically it's next to the palace. So... Yeah, but then the third the king one was making some extra money. Yeah, but it's like no one would ever go down there. And then the third one is like at the bottom of the Queen's Garden. So yes, all three of the pay benches are kind of connected to the Hellenist, I would assume. But I mean, I guess all the benches would have been probably built by the kingdom. But I just it, they act like it's such this, this 
terrible travesty that the kingdom is <laughs> capitalist. <laughs> Capitalism at its finest. But yeah. Usually people don't come up through that room with this with that one uh, spellcaster guy. But like because of that shortcut you can get there with only fighting one enemy, as opposed to right here. Like usually you're supposed to come through the other side of this room and fight the, like these couple waves of enemies. Yeah, and then get to the bench that way because you come up the elevator and like we took that way over to the soul sanctum and um, You fight through this little room here, and then there's a sign Oh a bench and you see the papers right before the room. It's like oh cornifer So yeah, you're supposed to come up here through this way get the bench. There's cornifer yay But um, we went the other way and only had to kill one enemy before getting to cornifer in the bench But actually, you know what? I just realized we're already at 36 minutes So we're gonna hold it here for this episode be right back for our next one. Of course, when we were, it'll be like a day or two between yeah. actual episodes, so sorry about that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. Um, yeah, I got a link to the Discord in the description. If you guys want to hop in, say hi. And uh, yeah, you'll certainly see my smile soon. 